Greetings all, praise King Selassie. Speaking about situation Middle East, ISIS, Taliban. You know, object objective was to destroy the Taliban. You know, 2001, 9-11, all the forces were sent to Afghanistan. You know, it was a pretext that the Taliban had, had a harbored Osama bin Laden, the guy that Fox News kept showing. Was, was talking about 9-11 bombings. Didn't, didn't look like the, the real Bin Laden. But nevertheless, it became Bin Laden. Fast forward to today. The, the, the tactic is to you know, make the Taliban look bad because if the Taliban doesn't look bad, somebody will. And so ISIS comes along. You know, ISIS has multi-purposes, and the communication channels have used this as a tool to forward uh, the agenda of those that they work for. And, and that agenda is, is this, this one-world, demon-cratic government. And there is some hindrances that have to be dissolved. And one of them is the Taliban, not ISIS, because ISIS has worked in the favor of those seeking this new world order, which has really been in effect since 1948, you know, but there, there's, again, there's some, some problematic areas, you know, Satan is not perfect, okay, only one is perfect, so Satan is bound to make mistakes, but these mistakes should be exposed because they are weak links and they can be exploited. In a democratic system, you know, it's based on popularity. The uh, those that profess you know, this system to be superior um, and therefore sell it as a profession are much more effective if they believe in what they do as in any occupation. So, if you have surveys and vote counts that correspond with the, the, the agenda, then obviously they will be favorable and they will be highlighted. Therefore, you know, those um, servants will believe not only will they serve the beast, they will worship the beast. This, a lot of ways, you know, this, this is why the uh, communications are being channeled to the Antichrist, so the Antichrist could do these make these decisions and present certain I had to erase some videos there normally I would start over time is valuable and this isn't like a circus I mean, I'm not here to perform yeah I hope people can laugh at times because things can't always be dreary, you know, but, you know, it's the word that's most important, the language. Often, the man say phrases and things that when you really think about, they're almost opposite than what the message is, 
you know, being received. So, whether that's intended or not, I suppose, depends on the education of the, the, uh, the deliverer. Nevertheless, most of the talk is done by performers. People who act a role, they are doing so on behalf of another body. Therefore, what they say cannot be trusted. Uh, emotion is real. People that have feeling about something, that can be trusted. The, 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 the trick is to hire people that can act like they care. But this is where the spirit rules because the spirit reaches into the hearts to reveal itself and those that have ears can hear. So, in, in a war, it is hugely significant to know your opponent's moves. You know, in a football game, you know how the, the coach talks behind the, the notebook so that people can't read his lips, so that they don't know the play. If the opponent knew the play before it was being called every time, well, then if the opponent loses, then they're just a terrible team. So, these videos are hopefully meant to share information about what you know, can be found to be established truth and hopefully in generations to come this information may become common knowledge and uh, therefore to the advantage of the oppressed the oppressor works to make uh, their enemies look bad when you hear about um, the taliban um, running into a hotel. Now, you're only going to get one side of the story. I, look, they can talk about objectivity, they can sound objective, but they are there for a reason. And it's not to inform you about what's going on. Every time there's a program, on the screen, on the airwaves, it is there to send a message. These folks that run these programs have perfected the art of persuasion. And in doing so, they have become more and more subtle. Just like a snake in the grass. That's why the snake represents Satan, because Satan doesn't jump out and go, hey, it's me, I'm Lucifer. You know, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't come up with horns, you know, with a red face and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a pick, pick fork with fire, okay? Satan is known as the angel of light, the light bearer. Light is to be good. So the teachings here, as in the teaching of the crisis, that you cannot believe always what you see. The physical body is at war with the spirit.
and those things that are seen do not always reflect the master will. So, with that being said, the truth is far from what people are being told regarding the Taliban. And if you pay attention, now there's this influx of coverage intertwined with the ISIS events. So recently, ISIS run up into a, a, a children's hospital. Whether there was really children there, who knows? That was the, the, the banner. And so, this is terrible. You know, but the news fails to mention that ISIS has claimed responsibility, as if it really matters. However, just the other day, there was another run-in with the Taliban at the hotel. And um, so, in the, po in the perception of the minds of those, the audience, these groups are the same. So anywhere there's a problem now, you can just send ISIS because it's all ISIS. They're all the same. This is what it looks like to watch blind people.